Hey there, so back again. So this is probably the most important part of this video is to uh, actually get things working because you're going to have some problems. Well, hopefully you don't have any problems, but I had a lot of problems with my luck. So, uh, again, one of the problems I came I came across is that I might, this is my this is my file right here. I have it right here outside of my Bulldozer file. And I wanted to get it in. So uh, apparently there's a permission on this Bulldozer. So one thing I can do, I can try, is I can do sudo and change the permissions on the Bulldozer so anybody can copy and paste. So let's do Bulldozer and, um, well, Chmode, change, modification, Chmode. Again, our magic number is 755. You give it all permissions and build dozer and let's see if that works hopefully it works password and let's go back into the file and let's try to copy and paste this copy oh, still won't let me do it well let's let's try something let's try just to move it over And oh, still not working. Okay, so what we can do because you need your file in here. Uh, you can you can there's ways around it, uh, but I rather you not. I rather you keep things simple. So let's go back into my terminal. Let's try to copy it let's, here. Let's try sudo. Um, cp means copy. Dash r means recursive. Apparently, you need R for recursive and local. This is the file that we want to copy, and we want to copy it to dash means the dot means this file and this file towards the bulldozer. Build dozer. So we're copying into the bulldozer. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here. Back out, Let's go back into the build dozer. Again, when you hit, ta oh, here it is. So it, now it's copied in here, as you can see. I made a copy of it. And uh, let's take a look outside our folder. Uh, build, okay, here it is. It's right there. So if we go back out, here's a build dozer. So we're able to copy it through the terminal, but that should, like, I never had that problem before, but there are ways of doing things. And even if even if you weren't able to, then you can edit your spec file such that you can give the location to where your, your main file is. So that's one way of going about it. Like for instance, if you look at your spec file, it says here, you can't really see it, but it says here, uh, the location The location here is just dot, means the current folder. But if you couldn't get in, what you could have done is you can put dot dot slash, dot dot means go back one directory. And then you can go local, slash main and that's that's where main.py or just main or just local because that's the folder where your main py lives so if things didn't work you could have just done that so there, there are a lot of options so i'm just going to put that back because we we succeeded okay so let's close that cancel or close without saving oops okay let's go back here terminal Okay, so I want you guys to pay pay attention to uh, what's going to come next. I want you guys, hold on, let me see if it's a, when you type in ls dash a, it shows you hidden files. So what do you notice here is that should be, um, okay, there is no hidden file here, but once you run this at least once, you'll get some hidden files, like hidden files everywhere. You have a hidden file here, hidden file in the root, and hidden file in the home, which can be confusing. So first thing we want to do, let's just run this. And I'm gonna pause it when I run. So what was it? The run deploy. Oop, let me just go back to my instructions here. Go down to the bottom. Here we go. And again, you want to run this file not as uh, you want to run it not as root. So don't put the sudo. In, do not put the sudo in front. So you're in the build dozer. You're in the spec file. We're gonna copy and paste this command right here. And we're most likely going to get an error. Oh, permission denied. Hold on, permission. Why is permission denied? Permission denied, home bulldozer. Okay, we're right. We're dot bulldozer. Huh. So you may have to run it as uh, sudo. 
I guess in this case. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here. This is gonna take a long time, but we're gonna get an error. Okay, looks like it's still going, but I thought I'd talk about some, for the interest of saving time, I thought I'd talk about some of the problems I came across. So number one, if you look at your um, your file, this is my um, main file here. Actually, maybe I should look at it in this view here. So let's take a, open this up. So my local file is here. And let's uh, open this up. Hopefully it opens up. Okay, here. This is, you're gonna get a problem right here. You see here debug, it's equal true. You have to change that to false. So that's one problem I had. So once you change that, that should work. Control S. Oh, apparently it's read only, but you wanna change that to false. Right, so that's one thing you need to do. Also, uh, you notice here I have this env file because I because I, I have um, I did this entire project um, using a virtual folder and I I installed blueprints. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what blueprint, but apparently there's a there's an error in blueprints. So I believe it if you go to here lib libraries site packages and you look for blueprints. Here it is, blueprints, and here rules. So in rules, I just double clicked on that for blueprints. If you go to 398, <laughs> it's funny, I remember that number 398 because I had so much problems here, I didn't know what to do. Apparently there's um there's a line here. Here it is, 398. Right here, lambda. Apparently this lambda, this is this is a Python 2 syntax, and this is running on Python 3, so you're gonna get an error. So what you have to do is get rid of this these parentheses and leave it like this. So lambda arg. So that was one problem I had to go through. So if you're using blueprints, you may want to do that because you're running on Python 3, not Python 2. Okay, so let's save that. Okay, apparently it's read only, so I can't save, but you need to do that. Uh, for this stuff, so that's one of the problems that I came across. Okay, close this, and I, I'll show you another couple of problems I came across. Let's take a look here at a terminal and see where we are. It looks like it's still working. Uh, who knows? Maybe I might get lucky and I'll actually go through. But chances are it um, it doesn't go through. Well, actually, it looks like it's actually going through. But I, I'll show you some of the problems I came across. Um, let me just pause this video. Hey there, so we're back. Uh, I got an error of not what I was expecting. Let me show the error that, that you should be expecting. You should be expecting an error like this. Hold on, let me just take a bit. Dozer, do Dozer, installation. And the error that you'll be you will be seeing is this one here, which is such a pain in the neck. It took me like three days to figure it out. So to overcome this error, what I suggest you do is that, um, let's go here. So what's gonna throw you off? is that there's there are hidden files so let me show you the hidden files so ls dash a gives you hidden files so there's a hidden file here bulldozer dot there's a hidden file there and what's funny is that if you exit out of this directory go here and you do the same thing there's another hidden file right here as well and what's ironic that if you do the same thing let's take an ls Let's, let, me, let me clear this. Clear. And let's go back and go to, well, you need sudo su, need permission. Let's go to root, cd root. And let's, again, let's look for hidden files, ls. And it's here too. So there's this dot bulldozer which you need is in three locations. So the location that's important. Let me exit out of this um, here, super mode. So I'm exit out. So the location that's important is the tilde, this location here. Is it? Yeah. This is this is the this is the important location. This is where you want to go inside. So you're gonna get that 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 problem that uh, Adele you can't find it. So what you do is you go here, cd dot bulldozer. And again, if you tab, it auto completes. You go in here, you go in, oh, it's not there. Oh, that's very odd. Um, okay, 
Let's go into the other director. Bill Dozer. CD build. Let's see if it's here. So what you want to do, you may want to try this out on all three locations. But you want to go into Android. You want to go to platform. Okay, so you're supposed to get a section here called SNK or a build tools, and that's gonna throw you off. So what you, to get that section, what you're gonna do is you go type in Python for Android, and you want to run this. So uh, sudo set up sudo python3 setup.py install, and hopefully this gives us everything we need. This shouldn't take too long, I hope. Okay, it's done. Hmm. Python for Android. It's not. It's, oh, it's not there yet. Because you're looking for that build tools area, or at least tools. You need at least tools. Okay, let's take a look here. It's not here. Huh. I think I know why. Let's try the root. Uh, sudo suit cd root. Okay, go into the hidden directory. Your Android. Platform. And here we go. Android S and DK. So what you have to do Android SDK. So you're in here and your build tools ADL is, is in the build tools. So you may see it, you may not see it, but what's important what you need to do is you gotta go to tools, go to bin. And if you look in bin, here's your SNDK manager. And to run this, you have to type in dot slash SDK manager here. But there's a tr there's a trick to it. So you type this in, it'll give you this, and it says you this this you know you have to like there's a trick to it. So sometimes when you do this and you type in list all, like you need to let's take a look at the list. Well, let's, let's see if we can let's see if we can take a look at the list. Click on this; it gives you the same thing, and you, it keeps on going over and over again. So to overcome this, if you look at the documentation, how to use this, what you're supposed to do is supposed to do this: list all. Then you're supposed to do uh, this: snk roots. Let's copy this. Let's paste that here. Equals, and now. You have to give it a directory. So uh, I'm going to give it this directory. So dot here, right? And it will give you all the options. Um, let's take a look here. Oops. The list. There we go. Root equals this directory. Anyhow, what, hmm, there's something wrong here, but last time it was working for me. Um, let me just pause this. Okay, it works now. You just make sure there's, you, you do with no spaces. So back here again, you gotta make sure there's no space. Before I had space there, make sure there's no spaces, and this means this directory. So if you look here, what you need from this here, first of all, you need the license. So before we do anything, let's go back here. Change this to license, licenses, and oh, right here we go. Licenses, and what you want to do is you want to go to you want to put everything in this directory here. So let's let's uh let's copy this. Is you want to drop everything into here? So let's copy that, and then we'll put it right here. 
delete that, let's delete that, control V, oops, let's copy and paste. Yep. And that's odd. Okay, there. Build dozer. Yes, S and DK. So I want to put everything here. So this is this is the line you need. So uh licenses. Yes, licenses. So you want to use licenses. It will give you the license. Click yes, 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 or yes, yes. And okay, that's that's good. So we, the license is done. What what else you need is you need to change this licenses into. Um, I believe you want. Let's go back to that list and find that list here. Here we go. What you want is um, you, you want the build tools. I'm gonna show you. Well, here, this one here, build tools. Let me just copy this 29, and we are going back into here, going right down to the bottom again, and we are just gonna over here. We're gonna paste it in. Paste. Get rid of these dashed lines. And then the build tools will go into this directory, which which which, which is what you want. Hmm, this looks like it's taking quite some time, but let me just pause this. Okay, canceled it because I already had it. Um, and the last thing that you probably need is it still going. Okay, the last thing you probably need again is that you may want to change. Um, okay, let me just make this a little bit smaller. Huh. Control minus. Okay. So build tools is what you uh, what you need. You also need this one here, platforms, because without platforms, you, you, it, for some reason it won't work. So let's get rid of that build tools. Put a space there. Um, let's get rid of that. That and you need platforms. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this here. Platforms Android 28. Again, everything is the same. You copy and paste that. You'll get this uh, message again. Most special. Well. So again, you need three things. You need the licenses, and you want to put everything into this directory right here at Android SNK. And again, the reason why this is working in the root is because when I ran the program, I ran the program as root. They don't want you to run the program as root. They apparently, come you get some problems. So if you can avoid it, try to run the program not as root. But if you, but if you, for our case, we have we're gonna have to complete this whole thing in root. Anyways, I already did this before, so I'm just gonna cancel that. And I'll put all these instructions online too, so you guys can look through it. Okay, let me just cancel this. Now I believe that's all the issues I came across. Uh, and the reason why this is this this tutorial, this whole whole thing is so important, is because uh, you don't want to be reliant on like you want to run Flask. Flask is a fantastic program if you want to make it make anything. First of all, Kiwi is nice and all, right? But let's face it, Kiwi is an extra thing to learn, right? So when you learn HTML uh, and Flask, that's just one thing to learn. Like you'll be learning for making websites. So uh, if you learn, you can actually make an interface for anything. And especially if you know, if you learn how to do, like if you learn how to work React, React is used in Instagram and Facebook. You can make a fantastic interface. And if you're a hacker or sure some any, if you ever make any sort of app, then you want an interface for it, and this is why this is so great. And this is like sort of, um, I would say, <laughs> uh, it's it's that is D as D Y I. So you know, uh, you don't want to give it to Google or anyone. You want you want to make your own thing. So anyways, yeah, this is the end of this tutorial. I'll post the rest of the instructions online. Hopefully, this helped you. Uh, it took me like three or four days to figure this out. So hopefully, this will save you some time. Okay, that's it.